Hello and welcome to Kimber Bushcraft. Yeah, as you can see, I'm in uh, Kimber Cam again today. The weather is not so good today, so I decided to go out to Kimber Cam and make this video uh, that I promise you uh, this little pendant from uh, yeah a guy I would like to talk about. Uh, this one is Odin, and uh, yeah. But as you saw, I started with uh, harvesting some uh, blackberries. Umba, as we call it here in Denmark, and uh, I'm going to make a little uh, a blackberry pie, uh, Viking style. So yeah, together with my coffee and uh, just enjoying time out here. And actually, uh, today when this uh, video is launched, it is also the uh, fall or autumn equinox. That means that uh, the days and the nights are equally long. Uh, so yeah. It's a turning point in the, in the, our world, and uh, I know that the Vikings uh, celebrated that. And now there's three months to the winter solstice when the uh, uh, sun is turning again, and it's going to be uh, lighter every day until summer. Yeah. Uh, Cornelius is with me. He's out uh, looking for the fox. I think he's found. Yeah, he's found a, a branch now. He's chewing in, and he has a good time. Yeah, and I kind of make it a tradition that I'll make a sun wheel uh, that I will burn over the fire uh, to mark or celebrate uh, this event. And uh, I have something uh, interesting to tell you about uh, uh, this day in the year. Uh, we call it Efterårsjevndøgn uh, in, uh, in uh, Old North. It's called Jafnadergur, uh, something like that. And uh, yeah. Actually, uh, in the Viking Age and uh, uh, before and after that, uh, we actually only have uh, three uh, seasons in the year. It's a winter, spring and summer. And uh, the term uh, autumn uh, didn't come until uh, the beginning of the 18th century. And uh, they were called Hust, 
harvest and that's because it's the time of the year where we harvest things. You saw I uh, harvest some blackberries, uh, the corn on the fields and uh, apples and so on. So uh, uh, yeah, and actually in the English language uh, it was already in the 16th century that they changed the name uh, harvest to autumn and it was actually a French word. Awesome. I mean something like brown uh, uh, leaves on the trees or something like that. I don't know, but it's a little interesting story that uh, the Vikings didn't have more than three seasons and a harvest or hust, as we call it here in Denmark. So in old Nordic uh, language, it, this will be called haust jafnadork, something like that. I write it down here. It's very difficult to uh, pronounce that. Uh, I think if, if you are come from Iceland, it's much more uh, like their language, yeah. So uh, this is my plan for today, but the, the main event is to talk about these things. Uh, I got some other stuff I would like to show you and uh, tell you a little bit about uh, the blacksmith that are making these. So I uh, hope you enjoy this and hang yeah, on. And uh, because I want to uh, see if I can make that uh, Viking blackberry pie uh, over the coals, I'll lit up my fire now. And then I'll tell you about the pendants. As you can see, it's very windy today, so uh, yeah. I hope this will work. Uh, and after all, the the smoke will not be here in the in the shelter. And you can hear Cornelius is barking. It's all the sounds that come from the trees when they um, when the wind is blowing into them. And up in Sweden, in, uh, in the northern part, north of uh, Stockholm, there is a, a blacksmith that is called Philip Lou Folk. Uh, here in Denmark and Sweden we call it Folk, but I think you'll pronounce it Folk, so Lou Folk for you guys. But uh, yeah, uh, he makes some awesome stuff. Uh, he's not only a very skilled uh, blacksmith, but he's also an artist. Yeah, and I found him on Instagram and I fell for this one, particularly this one, a sun wheel. Uh, it's the same uh, design that I will burn out today uh, to celebrate uh, this event. And uh, yeah, I uh, contacted him and uh, asked if he was uh, interested in uh, some kind of collaboration with me. And he was very friendly and uh, he thought it was a good idea. And uh, now, yeah. We're starting our collaboration uh, together. And uh, Philip um, told me that he was uh, looking for someone like me that could uh, uh, have a special place, a special page on his website with some uh, special designs. And uh, he made this. Uh, if you go into his website, you can see that uh, Kimber uh, design. And we talked about some things and uh, I sent him this that I made uh, out of copper. Uh, I call it a troll cross with a torch hammer in, and uh, he thought it was a good idea, so he made this, and uh, you can actually buy this. Um, I think it's really cool and much better than I can make it in uh, in copper. Uh, and of course, it is hand forged and a lanyard it, so you can have it around your uh, neck or you can put it up in your um, window or door so that the trolls won't come into your house. I talked about this uh, in some other videos. A troll cross and a Thor hammer. It is so cool. Yeah. And then we talked about making uh, some... Uh, yeah, you can see this is... <clears throat> as you can see this is Odin with the one eye and uh, uh, we are planning of making uh, some more of the Nordic gods. This is the first one. Uh, I would like to have Thor and uh, Freya and uh, some of the other gods. We'll see how it turns out, but uh, this one he made and I think it's really cool. I love it. It is so uh, so good design. You can see here the details. Yeah. As I said before, he's really skilled and uh, an artist too. So um, I'm very grateful for that, Philip, that you want to collaborate with me and uh, 
I'll do my best to uh, to make some designs that I think is cool. I also have already have some plans about uh, a candle holder and some other stuff that I will contact him in the near future and see if we can uh, find out something uh, about that to make uh, some cool stuff for you to buy if you want to do that. Uh, and the website is in English so uh, most of you can understand what he's writing there. He has a lot of uh, things about his thoughts and the visions behind the things he is doing. Uh, yeah, I love it. And uh, he has free shipping worldwide and all the secure payments methods you can uh, think about. PayPal and so on. So uh, no worries, go in and check him out. And I think the price is, is really reasonable and, uh, and uh, a good quality. So uh, yeah, I want uh, to support him. And if you uh, go in and uh, see what he has what to offer you and uh, perhaps buy them, you'll support me as well. So uh, go in so and see his website and, uh, the, and the, the section where I have uh, my designs or uh, what we uh, came up to uh, together. Uh, this one, the sun wheel and uh, the Thor hammer uh, in the troll cross and uh, the pendants with the, the north uh, gods, yeah. And uh, Philip Lufok also have a great YouTube channel where he show how he makes this stuff from iron into uh, pieces for art. It's so awesome to see and you should check it out. And he also have an um, Instagram account where he show his uh, items that he has made during his years. So I'm looking very much forward to uh, continue this collaboration and I think it can be really uh, nice and, I, and I'm so grateful that he thinks my ideas are good, that he wants to make them and they put it on the market for you to buy. Yeah. Now I'm going to make the dough for the uh, blackberry uh, pie and uh, yeah, I'm getting some coals now and uh, that will be the perfect uh, one to make my little pie. Yeah. First I will start with some flour. Just a little bit at the time, some uh, salt in and some honey. Yeah. Oh, looking good. And then a little bit of water in. Again, a little bit at the time. Mix it in. I'm going to make it a little bit uh, more wet than I, I usually do for the flatbread because I have to close it. I think this is enough uh, flour. Can I just do two? Yes. Can you say yes? Yeah. I think this is good. Yeah. And then I'll take it over here. A little bit of this flour. Yep. I want to make it flat so it will bake quickly over the coals. You can see the fire is not as strong anymore. So it's almost time now. Like this. And then I put the blackberries in. Some of them, I don't think they can be there all. And then I can eat the blackberries along there. Yeah. I 
see if I can close it tightly because I want to bake it on both sides. Yeah, something like this. But then I'm going to use this. Place it over here and put it on. And uh, while the coals are, I'm going to wash this. Uh, I want to eat from this because I think it's going to be a little bit greasy. Yeah. I think this is good enough. So I'll just put it over here with the top down and hopefully it will cook nicely over the coals. some honey uh, to sweeten it when I'm eating it. Yeah. I think it's going to take a little while. See, yeah, looking good. And uh, when this one is finished, I will put some firewood on again and uh, have some fire again and make my coffee. And then uh, after this and my coffee, I'll make the the ceremony about the uh, autumn equinox. Yeah, and just a little thing about this symbol. Uh, it is called a sun cross or sun wheel. And I prefer to call it a sun wheel because it's uh, the wheel of the sun from um, winter to summer and to winter. So that's what I like to call it, a sun wheel. And I made videos from this uh, and I made some videos uh, about this symbol. Uh, there are in many rocks carving, especially in Sweden, and it's actually a symbol that has been used uh, from many many years before the Viking Age, but uh, yeah, they used it too. Yeah, and as you can see here, I'll turn it like this too, so it will be uh, cooked probably uh, all the way around. Just make some small sticks. Yeah. Then I put it over here. Keep it warm. And then I lower my my pot. Like this, I think. Yeah. See if I can get the fire going here.
Yeah, you yeah. young. Good strong coffee and a little bit of salt in. Yeah. So now soon it's time for coffee and my blackberry pie. See this little blackberry pie is tasting good. Yeah. Let's see. Oh yeah. That looks nice. Don't you think so? I actually think I can eat them with my fingers. I'll try to do that. Mm. A little bit of honey on. Mm.
yeah folks this was all for now i hope you enjoyed this little video from kimbergam again together with cornelius and uh, the product i showed you and uh, go into uh, uh, his website uh, lou folk lou folk and uh, see uh, all the amazing stuff he can make and uh, you can uh, also ask him to make something special for you he's very open for that too uh, and a very friendly guy i can tell you so yeah thank you again for watching kimba bushcraft i really appreciate that and uh, then i hope to see you again on the next one bye bye take care mm.